Two lawmakers from Tennessee are calling for the impeachment of President Joe Biden after 12 U.S. service members and multiple Afghans were killed in two suicide bombings in Kabul. In a Pentagon briefing this afternoon, General Frank McKenzie said the two bombers are believed to be with ISIS and said they detonated near an airport entrance a short distance from a hotel. The attack comes with less than a week to go until President Biden's deadline to finish evacuations from the Middle Eastern country. President Biden addressed the nation about 30 minutes ago. To those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this, we will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. U.S. Representative Diana Harshbarger is calling for the president's impeachment, saying, quote, President Biden's mishandling of the withdrawal of our troops from Afghanistan, along with his administration's self-inflicted national security crisis on our southern border and his reckless spending proposals that are causing inflation and the price of goods to skyrocket, make it clear he is not fit for the responsibilities of the presidency, end quote. And United States Senator Marsha Blackburn, a Republican from Tennessee, making a similar call on Twitter saying, quote, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Anthony Blinken, Lloyd Austin and General Milley should all resign or face impeachment and removal from office.